Hi folks, uh, I'm going to try skiing again at night this time. Uh, it's a common feature in Finland that the ski paths are lit, usually until about 10 o'clock at night. So it um, gives quite a different feeling to skiing during the day. So I have my skis here with me and uh, I'm going to walk to the beginning of a snow track that's about five minutes walk from my home lane. Let's go. New day, new skiing experience. With a bit of luck you'll be able to see that in the ski track are lotto that the bottom of the track is actually quite icy which means that going downhill should be quite fast of course ice is good for glide but uh, it's not great for grip the tape I have on the bottom of my skis is for Minus five to about minus 20, so it should be optimal for grip, but we shall see. So far, so good. And for the next downhill bit, this one is quite steep, so I wonder how much it'll hear on the microphone. Here it goes. away a bit earlier today so I get up while it's still light you can just about see the reddish light in the western sky where the sun's gone down but uh of course the must have just gone five o'clock now in the afternoon and yeah the days are definitely getting longer which is nice this next bit goes down quite steeply and I fall down here quite a lot so I'm going to uh, take my ski out and try and break a bit. Ah, wonder of wonders. Managed to do it without falling down. Yay! I sort of have the plow style understood, but sometimes I'm not quite sure how I just did what I did. Yeah, it seems to be unfortunately more luck than judgment. Yeah, I spoke too soon. My clothes for skiing are sort of semi-traditional. I'm wearing a pair of woolen toweling leggings and three layers of wool on my upper body, topped with a very light windproof jacket. Now it's not windy tonight. So that's not too bad, but if you're skiing when it's windy and, well, you get a bit sweaty, it can really cool you down quite fast. So, uh, both the leggings and the upper body have a layer which has this toweling on the inside and uh, it's merino wool, which is uh, a little bit itchy when you buy it first. But after a couple of washes it only softens out and uh, 
it's exceptionally good for wicking the sweat away from your skin and uh, that's really good at keeping you warm and down we go <coughs> and there's a track on the left and so there's a certain side you're supposed to be on while you're skiing so if I was to switch over to the left side now uh, and met, met going in this direction and met somebody coming in the opposite direction I'd probably get shouted at there are rules so it's a bit like uh, driving on the road you know here we drive on the right side whereas of course back in Ireland I guess if there was snow and a skiing culture even the ski track sides would be opposite but I don't know so it's quite a gentle downslope so I keep both skis even I can push with both both sticks at the same time okay now we're back to first one then the other it's a very good thing in Finland that you know, cities recognise that people have got work and so they lay on uh, facilities like this this track is maintained during the summer and then the machine comes and does these tracks every day or after some fresh snow so they're ready to use and uh, yeah the, the lights I run until 10 o'clock at night, so you know, if you're working a 9 to 5 job, you still have time to get home, get some dinner, get your skis on, and go out for a couple of hours. Okay, so far so good. something very nice about skiing downhill so there's that sense of speed but uh, for me at least it's coupled with a sense of relief that I managed to get to the bottom of the hill without falling flat on my face which is always a bit of a pain uh, yeah okay uh, I'll finish for tonight um, see you next time and uh, I'm gonna go home now and a nice hot shower and uh, stretch this time so all the best for this time take it easy bye bye